let's face it, we all know that feeling of panic when our car starts acting up. You hear strange noises, the dashboard lights up like a Christmas tree, and suddenly you're convinced that your beloved ride is about to give up on you. But before you begin cursing the automobile gods and shaking your fists at the sky, take a deep breath and consider the following. It may not be your car's fault. Maybe it's the ECU or control module that's gone rogue, causing all sorts of chaos under the hood. Now, I know what you're thinking. ECU? Control module? What the heck are those? Don't worry, I won't bore you with the technical jargon. Let's just say they're like the brains of your car, controlling everything from the fuel injection to the ignition timing. And when they malfunction, well, let's just say it's not pretty. But fear not, my fellow drivers, because in this video, we're going to show you the most common signs of an ECU or control module failure and what you can do about it. So whether you're a seasoned gearhead or just a regular Joe who loves his wheels, this video is for you. Because, let's face it, we all want to avoid the embarrassing situation in which our car breaks down in the middle of nowhere and we must call our mother for a ride. So buckle up, grab some popcorn, and let's learn how to diagnose ECU problems like a boss. Check Engine Light Alert Ah, the dreaded check engine light. It's like the warning sign for your car's personal trainer that something's wrong. Except, instead of hitting the gym, your car needs some professional help. You know you're in trouble when your car starts talking to you through flashing lights. And when that little orange light pops up on your dashboard, you know you're in for a wild ride. In many cases, a check engine light alert can be a symptom of an ECU problem. The ECU, or engine control unit, is like the brain of your car's engine. It receives input from various sensors and systems and then uses that information to make decisions about how the engine operates. If something goes wrong with the ECU, it can cause the check engine light to turn on. This can be due to a variety of issues, such as a faulty sensor, a malfunctioning component, or a software glitch. The check engine light can be a bit of a mystery, as it doesn't always tell you exactly what's wrong. It's more like a general warning that something isn't right, and you'll need to take your car to a professional mechanic to diagnose and fix the problem. Engine misfires or stalls. Have you ever been driving down the road, enjoying some tunes, and suddenly, your car starts jerking and shaking like a bull trying to throw you off like a rodeo cowboy? That's what we call an engine misfire, and it's like your car is having a temper tantrum. It's not cute. And if your car stalls altogether, well, that's like your car just decided to take a nap in the middle of the road. Engine misfires or stalls can definitely be a symptom of an ECU problem. As I mentioned earlier, the ECU controls the engine's performance by receiving input from various sensors and making decisions about how to adjust the engine's operation. If something goes wrong with the ECU, it can cause the engine to misfire or stall. An engine misfire occurs when the fuel in the engine cylinders doesn't ignite properly, causing a jerking or shaking sensation, a faulty spark plug, a clogged fuel injector, or an issue with the ECU are just a few potential causes of this. In some cases, the ECU may be sending the wrong signals to the engine, causing it to run too lean or too rich, which can result in a misfire. On the other hand, a more serious ECU issue can result in a stalled engine. If the ECU is not communicating properly with the engine, it may not be able to provide the correct instructions for the engine to operate. This can cause the engine to shut down altogether leaving you stranded on the side of the road. Bad gas mileage or poor fuel economy Remember when you first got your car and you were all excited to see how far you could go on a tank of gas? And then one day, your car starts guzzling gasoline like it's a desert oasis. Suddenly, you're spending more time at the gas station than you are on the road. That's when you know you're dealing with poor fuel economy and it's like your car has become a bottomless pit. If the ECU isn't working right, the engine could use more gas than it needs to, which would lower the gas mileage. Some common ECU problems that can cause bad gas mileage are wrong calibration, broken sensors, and bugs in the software. For instance, 
A broken oxygen sensor might prompt the ECU to give the engine more fuel than is required, which could reduce gas mileage. Furthermore, improper calibration of the ECU can prevent it from accurately adjusting fuel delivery based on driving conditions, which can also result in poor fuel economy. It is advised to have your vehicle's ECU checked by an expert mechanic if you are experiencing poor fuel economy. By using diagnostic tools to find any problems with the ECU, they can make the necessary repairs or changes to save more fuel. Poor Engine Performance Having engine trouble is like watching someone try to run a marathon in sandals. There's no way that turns out well. You may find that your car is less responsive than usual, takes longer to accelerate, or is making strange noises. When that happens, you know you have an ECU issue. When your car's engine is performing poorly, it's like watching a sloth try to run a marathon. It's just not going to end well. You may notice sluggish acceleration, weird noises, or unresponsiveness. All signs of serious ECU problems. If the ECU is not functioning properly, it can't control the engine's fuel delivery, ignition timing, or emissions. So, if you're experiencing poor engine performance, take it to a qualified mechanic pronto. They can use their diagnostic tools to identify the root cause of the issue and make the necessary repairs. Failure to do so may lead to even more severe engine problems, and nobody wants that. Car won't start. Having a car that won't start is like a bad date. It leaves you stranded, disappointed, and wondering what went wrong. Your car's ECU is the key to getting your engine running, and if it's not working properly, you're stuck with a four-wheeled paperweight. Think of it like a marriage. It takes good communication and understanding between the ECU and the other components of the engine to start. When that communication breaks down, it's like a bad breakup. Nobody wins. ECU problems can cause a car to not start, and common culprits include malfunctioning sensors, fuel pumps, injectors, and software glitches. For example, if the ECU can't receive the necessary information from the crankshaft position sensor, it won't initiate the startup sequence. Similarly, if the ECU doesn't deliver the right amount of fuel to the engine, it won't start at all. If you're stuck with a non-starting car, it's time to call in the professionals. A qualified mechanic can diagnose the root cause of the problem and repair or adjust the ECU as necessary. Don't let a bad ECU ruin your driving experience. Get it fixed and get back on the road. What do you think of the video so far? Let us know in the comment section below. Hopefully, you're enjoying the content. If you want more videos like this one, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's go back to the video. You know that sensation when you're about to sneeze, but you can't? That's what it's like when your engine is surging or hesitating. It's like it's trying to do something, but can't quite get there. It's like having a conversation with someone who keeps interrupting you, making it hard to get your point across. Just like communication is key in any relationship, your car's ECU needs to be in sync with the engine to ensure it's running smoothly. When that connection breaks down, you end up with a car that's constantly stuttering and struggling to keep up. Transmission Shifting Issues Transmission shifting issues in your car can be a frustrating experience, much like dealing with a flaky friend who can't make up their mind. It's like your car is in a constant state of indecision, making you wonder if it's ever going to get its act together. It's like being in a relationship with someone who keeps changing their mind, leaving you feeling confused and unsure of what's next. The electronic control unit in your automobile must maintain trustworthy and consistent gearbox shifting, just like in a positive relationship. If the engine control unit, or ECU, and the gearbox can't talk to each other, the vehicle will waste a lot of time second-guessing itself. It's annoying and difficult to follow along in a conversation with someone who continuously interrupts themselves. If you're experiencing transmission shifting issues, it's best to take your car to a qualified mechanic for a proper diagnosis. Low transmission fluid, worn-out clutch plates, 
and broken solenoids are common things that can go wrong with the transmission. A skilled mechanic can figure out what's wrong, fix it, or make the necessary changes to get your car shifting smoothly again. Poor acceleration As annoying as it is to deal with a friend who regularly falls behind on group activities, slow acceleration in your car may be an ordeal in and of itself. The feeling is that your car is working hard but still falling behind the competition. It's like trying to move on in a relationship with someone who constantly second-guesses themselves. Your car's ECU and engine need to be in sync for peak performance, just as communication and mutual understanding are essential to the success of any relationship. The automobile becomes as drowsy as a cat on a languid afternoon when the ECU is unable to communicate with the engine. Dealing with it is aggravating, and it might cause you to arrive at your destination late. Electrical Problems Have you ever had one of those days where it seems like everything horrible that can happen does happen and your life feels like a bad sitcom? That's how it feels like when the electrical system in your car breaks down. It's as if every program is working against you to make your day miserable. It's like working for an unpredictable boss who constantly throws wrenches into your plans and undermines your efforts. To work as a whole, the electrical parts of your car's ECU need to be able to talk to each other and work as a team, just like in a good office. When the car and driver can't talk to each other, the driver is stuck with a car that acts like a diva in her dressing room, along with the stress and financial burden that comes with it. Failed Emissions Test when your car fails an emissions test, it can feel like you studied hard for an exam but somehow still managed to fail. It's a frustrating experience, and it can leave you scratching your head and wondering what went wrong. It's like having a teacher who keeps changing the rules, making it harder to know what to study or how to prepare. In the same way that students near clear goals and directions to do well in school, your car's ECU needs to make sure that the emission system is working within the law. When there's a breakdown in communication between the ECU and the emission system, you end up with a car that's as lost as a tourist without a map. A failed emissions test can result in a hefty fine, so it's important to get your car diagnosed and repaired promptly. Thanks for tuning in! We hope this video has shed some light on the most common signs of ECU or control module failure and provide some helpful tips on how to diagnose and resolve these issues. Remember, a malfunctioning ECU can cause major headaches for your vehicle, so it's important to stay on top of any warning signs and address them promptly. By staying informed and taking action, you'll be well on your way to keeping your car running smoothly for years to come. Thanks again for watching Car Computer Exchange, and happy driving!